Welcome on my YouTube channel. In today's video we will speak about how to prioritize things in life. Priorities make our life easier because it helps us to clearly define what's important and what's not. Here's a short list of really useful skills that will increase earnings and future potential income. First one it is financial planning. Extremely important, but people prefer do not stress about this. They think that it's okay to waste so much money. It's okay to stay in lower paying job because it provides whatever it is provide. That people think that it's normal to hang out with friends or unknown people and get drunk and waste money on it. That all draining money from investments, your potential investments. And financial planning helps you to build your solid financial base, which will help you to stay comfortable if things do not work out as you planned. Lack of financial planning leads to poverty and living below your standards. I understand that financial planning it is a word which mostly used for people who have stable income. But even if you don't have stable income, you can still plan your finances, you can still work on earning more and ensuring that you put into your investments maximum amount of money. Next one it is learn how to use insurance. First of all buy insurance but before buying check it out. Ensure that this insurance will provide for you the best cover and your finances will not be drained because of emergency. Also don't be lazy. Read that book of terms and conditions. You need to be prepared. You do not get message notifying you that after one week you're gonna have emergency. You have to be ready always. Next one it is learn extra skills to earn on side gigs. It could be wherever you are good in. Or even if you are not good in it, work on yourself. Master things and ensure that on side gigs you can earn money. Next, really useful, it is every year pick up new skill and master it. It's up to you what you're gonna pick up, but ensure that you will need in long run and that it's something which gives you, which makes you feel good. You can choose one of in most demand skill, it is programming, search engine optimization, 3D printing, you can learn blogging, you can start writing. But blogging not that easy as it is described everywhere. Most it is described like open your account, pay for your hosting, write a few articles and make a lot of money. In reality, it does not work like this. You have to master your skill before monetizing it. Another useful skill it is coaching. If you have any knowledge for which people are ready to pay, ensure that you use that knowledge till maximum and you make money on it. Next one it is learn new language. If you are not into learning foreign languages, you may choose to learn programming language. It is in such a high demand. But you have to ensure that you will master it. Not just took a few classes online and thinking that done, you know everything. Ensure that you put enough time and effort. So in future, you can have this as a side gig or as a mainstream of income. It's up to you. Next one, it is change jobs regularly. This is quite controversial because 
Once people find a good job, they feel like they will stay on that job for a long time. But time changing so fast that you need to change your jobs regularly. You, that will make you upgrade your knowledge, your sales skills, your presentation skills faster. Before it was recommended to change job every 10 years, but I think now it is wise to change every two years. It depends on your industry, but in most cases you have to move on. You have to find better opportunities. You have to be constantly in search of better opportunities, higher income and more benefits and perks from that job. Next one it is you have to learn how to use calendar. It could be paper calendar or it could be Google calendar. Of course, we live in digital age and paper calendar quite uncomfortable. I used to use paper calendar for day-to-day -day planning while I was studying in university more than 10 years ago. Since that time, I have shifted to Google Calendar. And it is so far one of the best software that helps you to plan your time, see what's in your priority for day, and make sure that you don't forget important things. Next one is extremely important, it is about healthy eating. I know many of you will think, I have heard hundreds times about healthy eating, I know it. But between knowing it and doing it, there is a big difference. You have to ensure that you feed yourself the best food. And I don't speak about expensive food, I speak about nutritionally high food. That food which will make your body work better and will, which will ensure that you will stay healthy for a long time. Next one, it is exercise. Choose whatsoever makes you feel good wherever you exercise and stick to it. Change occasionally, try new exercises, maybe you're gonna like something more. But you have to do it regularly. It's not like you bought membership, you went a few times, and that's all. That will not work out. You have to dedicate yourself. Only after you dedicated yourself, you will see a progress. Another extremely important, learn to have uninterrupted time was important for your people. It could be your family, it could be your loved one, it could be your kids. Just ensure that you designate enough time to spend with important people and you give all yourself. Not like you are going for dinner with your parents and constantly staying on phone because some task is pending from your office or someone disturbing you. You have to ensure that you give 100% of your attention. Because if that person is important for you, that person deserves to have 100% of your attention. Another one which I adopted two years ago, it is minimize belong belongings that are useless. It's like getting rid of trash for which you paid money. You think that you'll need it in one day, but the day never comes. So, if the day never comes, just get rid of it. If you can, sell it. If not, donate it. Make room for memories, not the useless stuff, because as more clutter you own, as more cleaning you have to do. Same goes for digital life. Ensure that on your phone you have only useful information. Delete everything that is useless. Delete hundreds of duplicate pictures. And also ensure that what's important on your phone, you backed up in cloud. And perfectly two clouds from different emails for better security. And last one and my favorite one, it is optimize expenses and travel more. Use money to create memories. Memories makes us happy. And 
belongings, which is some, most of the time quite useless, does not make us happy. So prioritize to spend money on creating memories. Even if you don't have right now enough money to go to travel around the world or to go travel to some foreign or faraway countries, you can still go nearby and explore. You're still gonna find many interesting things which you never thought available just near your places. Travel more, explore more, and enjoy your life till maximum. Thank you. Please follow my YouTube channel for more videos. And go ahead and check my blog where I write articles every day. Mostly it is about financial education, but sometimes it's also motivational articles. Thank you.